What's up, YouTube? West Coast Poker Guru here. And I wanted to talk a little bit about poker card guards. And most of you probably already know what they're for, but for the people that don't, basically, when you get your two whole cards, you want to put something on top of them. They could be chips just to protect your hand from accidentally showing your hand or I've seen it happen before in card uh, card rooms and I've seen it happen on the World Series of Poker if you're sitting next to the dealer and you don't have anything on your cards sometimes the dealer will mistake that for a fold and he'll take your cards and toss them into the muck so he'll muck your cards I've seen it happen before and it does happen so and not necessarily just for sitting next to the dealer. Um, I mean, you could be sitting anywhere on the table and it could happen. I like to use them. So some people don't. Most people don't. I go to the card room all the time and I see like one person with a card guard. But like I said, you could use anything pretty much to protect your hand. It could be a s couple chips. Some people like to have something custom. I got a couple custom ones. Uh, I'll show you some. This one right here I got off of eBay. It's stainless steel with a little sand blasted uh, ace of spades right there on both sides. It's nice and thick. It's nice and heavy. I mean, that's got to be like eight ten grams right there at least it looks pretty cool I get a lot of compliments on it set it on top of your cards lay it down it's a pretty cool one I got it off of eBay I got a couple other ones that I like to use just some special poker chips I got these off of eBay too and these are from the, these are casino Paulson's from the Flamingo Hilton in Laughlin, Nevada. The Legends of the West. And if you're superstitious, which most poker players are, I know I definitely am. This one's got Jesse James on it. Two of my favorite uh, outlaws from the West. I got a Jesse James and I got a Billy the Kid one. And they're both $5 denomination. Both from the Flamingo Hilton. So... But I definitely get most of my luck from this Billy the Kid one. Last matter of fact, last time I was at my local casino, Jackson Rancheria, uh, I caught a couple full houses using this as a card guard, which you know most people think, you know, wow, who cares or whatever. But I'm superstitious, so this is my lucky one that I always keep with me. And I've seen people use a whole bunch of things. Like matter of fact. Doyle Brunson uses a, a lighter, a Zippo lighter, and he says it's Casper, but it's really the Ghostbusters uh, image with the ghost on it. He calls it Casper. Sometimes I use my a lighter too. I got a special Zippo that I like to carry around, poker themed. And when you flip it up, you can see there's a little hidden ace right there. It's pretty cool. But, like I said, you could use pretty much anything you want as long as it doesn't scratch or get the cards greasy or mark the cards. You could pretty much use anything you want, but I, I recommend using a card guard, especially if you're just starting out uh, playing poker or playing Texas Hold'em. You want to protect your hand and you want to let the, it's just a way to let the dealer and everybody else know that you're definitely still in the hand. So poker card guards. If you don't have one, get one. If you don't use them, uh, the day is definitely going to come where you're going to be you're going to change your mind because I've seen it happen in live games, I've seen it happen on TV. I mean, even if you don't want to go out and get a fancy one, like I I got a couple of them, just use a couple of your chips that you're using for the game and put them on top of your card. It's not going to hurt. Um, you're not going to look stupid or anything. 
But that's pretty much it for poker card guards. Stay tuned. I got a, uh, actually, let me see. I got a couple more decks that I'll, that are coming up. I'll do a couple of reviews on. I just got this one in the J designs and I've seen one other review of the J designs on YouTube, but it, it's, it was a different design on the back. And these are the narrow J designs. Let's see if I can. But I got this uh, review coming up of the J designs, and I got another special review for you. These are official World Series of Poker cards that were used in the 2011 World Series of Poker. And. Most people don't know this, but there's a special story to these cards. These are the official cards that were used in the tournament. And uh, on, on the review, when I do the review, I'll explain the special story that goes with these cards. So keep an eye open for that. And thanks for watching.